Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and welcome to our full review of the BlackBerry Z10. The Z10, of course, is BlackBerry's latest device powered by BlackBerry 10 mobile OS. So we're going to jump in to find out what makes this tick, how well it works, go through some of the functionalities and, and figure out if the Z10 really brings BlackBerry back to the forefront of all smartphones. All right, let's jump in and take a better look at uh, the BlackBerry Z10 with uh, BlackBerry 10 OS. Of course, you know the internals of the hardware, dual core processor and two gigs of RAM. Now, once you jump in, the first thing you will see, of course, is the screen here, which basically is your multitask area. And your apps are open up like little cards, similar to what you found in WebOS. And you can, of course, see what apps are running. And of course you can close them out. So I have my file manager here, which I can X out. And you do have a file manager on there. If you swipe to the right, you have your applications. You can swipe in through, it shows you all your apps. The first thing to know about uh, the BlackBerry 10 OS on the Z10 is that you use all four corners of your device. So um, you will, to peek, you can slide up as you open application and you peek and that shows you what you have um, in terms of notifications and of course to basically close an app, I mean to go out, go out of an app you slide from the bottom up and that's the only way that's the way to do it now if you slide from the top that brings back uh, down a little quick bar it's not really a notification bar you have your um, Wi-Fi settings your general settings Bluetooth alarm and rotation lock but it's not real a real notification bar the notification on the system is all the way to the left so you sw slide from your left to right and there you have it. This is your BlackBerry Hub, which is your notification app. As you can see, everything is loaded here. Your BBM, your text message, all your emails. So I have three emails here, Facebook, Twitter, Google Talk, your voice calls, as well as t in, um, text messages themselves if they come through. So you have all those and uh, the general hub itself, you can actually select the general hub itself and it gives you a whole list of all your emails and texts and Facebook all together, or you can tap and actually select one uh, specific uh, account. So in this case, I go to the Twitter account that you can see that there. And I have full access to my uh, Twitter functionality in a sense, so I can search, I can tweet directly from the hub. Uh, I don't have to actually open the application. I can also compose a, a tweet here and I can reply. So for instance, uh, someone has uh, retweeted one of the things from the giveaway, I can tap on that, and I can either view the person's profile, reply, reply all, bring some other options and see, you have a few options here. And I can also delete the notification on my system. It doesn't delete it off your Twitter account, it just deletes it off your system here. Um, as, as it pertains to email, I can jump into email. So I go to border work email here, I have a few emails here. And you can see I can search and can compose email. Now your email client, this is the only way to access email here. There is no specific email client because it's built into Twine into the hub. So if I went into reply, um, say CTIA, I can hit reply, reply all forward. And if I tap the action menu uh, button here, I have more options here. I can invite to meeting, I can add that email into my contact list, mark, flag, file, delete, so on and so forth. So you have the, your full email um, um, options here. Now heading back to the main email hub, since uh, if you have a Google account and you have different folders or files or any other email that has uh, folder file systems, you can also access those by actually tapping here on the very top right hand corner and that gives you all your different folders as you can see and you can find folders and um, of course transfer documents from one folder to another and tap out. Um, all together. So that's what the hub does. Everything is pretty much aggregated into this huge cluster and it works effectively, especially with your email, which is fully integrated. The one thing I will mention about email is that um, with all the email clients I've used here from Gmail to Yahoo um, and Hotmail is you only can um, you only can set up push uh, notifications for up to 50 minute intervals. So it only, of course, refresh every 15 minutes, which hopefully BlackBerry will change to something much faster. So you can actually um, get your emails promptly and on time. Now, in terms of um, other aspects of the uh, Z10, 
here is you can see there's a there's a bottom bar here that has a search as well as your um, call button and your uh, camera now the call button is also your contact list you can see there really is no contact list here so if you hit the call button that brings up the call app yeah add, add number you can and you can go through your contacts here if you want to cancel that out and um, contacts you can go to dial pad the cool thing about this at least is that um, the BlackBerry uh, Z10 as well, BlackBerry 10 OS, basically imports all your contacts from all your email accounts. So if you have a Google account and you sign in with your Google email, it will transfer your contacts, your calendar, same thing with um, Hotmail, um, same thing with iOS devices. So whatever device you were using before this, you can actually jump in um, and transfer all your information without any stress and have all your contacts here on your, your BlackBerry Z10. Uh, then the camera itself. Now the camera um, is an 8 megapixel camera. Uh, it's, it's a solid camera in taking photos in, in, in daylight. It does a very good job. But in terms of um, low light shots, it's not that great. And the video quality is, is decent. It's, it's not bad. Um, but I would say, you know, I, I was hoping for it to be something on a, a stellar um, um, uh, level if you will now in terms of the camera settings you can switch the camera to the front or back camera you've got normal shot you have a stabilization and burst uh, shots you do have scene selection and you have flash selection also and aspect ratio now uh, if you switch to the camcorder the options you have there are stabilization mode um, scene selection putting on the lights and recording 1080p or 720p and those are the two options you have there uh, the cool thing of the camera is you have one side option of 8 megapixels, no lower resolution, which is nice to see that, um, and of course to, to record you just tap the screen there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll add a sample recording for you within this. Um, so that is the Z10 camera recording at 1080p, giving you an idea of what it actually does. Sound, it is windy, so we want to see how well it captures that and how well it bases this stuff. Yeah. But we give you about 30 seconds to add to the review so you get a general idea of what you are looking at. And we'll add some photos to you. Just slide up to end any application or at least go out of any application you have. Uh, you've seen our BBM video and um, basically, of course, it's just quite easy. You can check out our video of the BBM uh, uh, itself and BBM video chats and see how BlackBerry has improved that option within the um, the space of uh, the new BlackBerry 10. Now, in terms of battery life, uh, this is one area that the BlackBerry Z10 really excels. Um, uh, you can see here, I just have a battery indicator here. It says 96%. It says two hours left, just depending on what your activity is. But I pretty much got um, over 24 hours of battery life use. Now, this has been Wi-Fi on, um, and also data through email services, Facebook, Twitter, and making a few phone calls. Uh, with Bluetooth on, of course, that drops and that goes below 24 hours. But um, seriously, if your device is running up to 24 hours of battery life, then you are fine. Uh, now, this does better than any Android or iOS device. The only, only device that I think competes with it in terms of battery life is Windows Phone. So as a BlackBerry user or someone who's looking for a device that gives you good battery life, you can go on the road, you you can go on trips and not worry about you know always charging your device i think the z10 works well for you uh another cool thing with z10 of course is you know is that there is no home button no, there is no physical button on the device and once your screen is darkened uh you can of course tap the power button to of course unlock it or you just swipe from the bottom and you can see it unlocks the device so basically this bottom bar acts like your home button in a sense and brings you to open your device or um or um, jump right into whatever activities you're looking for uh, to do here. Now, in terms of applications, yes, there are not that many applications in the um, BlackBerry store itself. Hold on a second, let me look for that. Yeah, there are not many applications in the BlackBerry store itself, but they do have a lot of key applications like your Facebook, your Twitter, um, LinkedIn. They also have a movie store, which has a lot of movies, and you know they have uh, different applications. Hopefully, this will grow and expand, but for now, um, even though the applications are quite few, I was, I was um, impressed with some of the things that BlackBerry has done in themselves. They've done a Google Talk client of their own, which allows you to at least chat on Google Talk. Not many 
many features in there, but it does the job in, in communicating, if you will. So that's also a very good thing, at least that they've, they've you know, taken the initiative to actually do that uh, for your customers. The browser, now the browser itself um, actually works pretty fast. It does have a tabbed history, so basically you can see all the different sites I've been to just recently. And um, if I hit the menu settings here, I can go into settings for the browser. I have display action, site permission, developer tools, privacy and security. You know, I can type in an address. And here you're looking at me use the keyboard here. Now the keyboard here works very, very well. Um, it also has the predictive um, text where I can flip uh, things up in terms of words. So if I'm trying to spell a word and it, it gets the word, I can actually flick it up uh, and I'll show you that more in depthly. But let's just go ahead here and Flick that air, and we just check out the browser. So you can see the browser, speed wise, the browser does very well. Uh, I've also noticed a thing where if um, if there is flash on the site, it will, it will ask you site uh, appears to use Adobe Flash, uh, enable flash. So you can just tap on that, and that will help enable flash on the site for you. So there is flash support on the browser, which is pretty cool. So you can see some of the different features on uh, the Border Walk website that uses flash will fully be accessed here for you. You've got pinch to zoom on the browser, and um, the text do look pretty solid once you zoom in, and um, everything works out pretty well. And you also have tab browsing, so you can actually create a new tab, and basically your tab history is your tab browsing. It just basically goes back the way you, you've um, actually searched. So this is my latest uh, search, and this, of course, was my initial search so that's a that's just how the tab browsing works on you you do have the ability to access your history add new bookmarks and so on and so forth and you can close your tabs uh, on your way out so that's the browser there for the blackberry z10 um overall i think blackberry has done a very good job here with the z10 it's more robust it's a very stable system it's got a very good functionality uh, a couple of more things before we round up this review is of course you have uh, maps and you actually have full um, navigation uh, system built into the map so I agree to that information here um, basically all you have to do is just look for a location and you can actually map yourself out to that location there so i can type in say fenway And it says, yeah, Fenway. And basically you have icons to make it a favorite or location on map and go. Once you hit go, it basically just uh, sets up your route and you are able to start your navigation to that location. It says 12 minutes from my location. So that's pretty nice. Very simple. Looks like it's powered by Bing Maps and it, it looks like it works uh, very, very well. You can also show traffics. It doesn't have too much in-depth uh, functionality, but if you're simply looking for navigation to go from point A to B, uh, I think this will suit you quite well. Of course, your settings, um, which are quite in depth with BlackBerry. You can go and check in your Wi-Fi connections, your notification systems, set up accounts. Now, accounts is where you set up all your emails. So this is where you come to to set up your emails for uh, whatever emails you have, whether it's work, personal, or just fun emails if you have those. Uh, your BlackBerry ID, your voice controls, and um, your security, media setup, all that fun stuff is right here in your settings. Now, I did promise to show you um, some of the keyboard functionality here. So say for instance, we wanted to reply this tweet and we were typing, as you can see, um, there are words that pop up on the screen. And if I wanted to say thanks here, I can just flick that up uh, for entering the contest. And you can see it's trying to predict what next I am going to say. And it does that in different manners. So it gives you different words, a different um, alphabet. So you can either flick up and say, oh, okay, thanks for entering into the contest, blah, 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 uh, that kind of stuff. And it does that, uh, you know, it does that quite well. It takes some getting used to because it, the words kind of flash over your keyboard and they're quite small. Um, my suggestion is, of course, if this was a bigger screen, this will actually probably look um, much better and easier to actually use, but uh, it's still still innovative and uh, different. And uh, the keyboard itself works very well. I think BlackBerry has done a very good job here. So um, 
that's pretty much a good look at the um, OS here. You do have other things like uh, video and pictures, uh, where you can of course go through your, your, your photos here. And of course video, you can watch videos on your system. So even if you take a video or a photo on your camera, they are separated by videos and um, pictures. Your pictures and pictures, and your videos and videos. You can watch music, listen to music, and you also have an in-depth file manager which uh, works across um, your device as well as say Dropbox or other um, online storages. So that's something to take note. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and round up this review of the BlackBerry. Z10. So the Z10, uh, we've put it through its paces. We've seen a lot of things the device can do. Uh, we've looked at uh, the OS functionality here, and of course, its new um, buttonless system, if you will. Um, some of the takeaways. I'll start with things I didn't really like too much uh, with the Z10. Um, some of the takeaways with the camera. I wasn't too impressed with the camera for a device such as this, which has a lot of good things going on with the camera. Was okay. Um, to good photos, but wasn't stellar, wasn't anything um, outstanding on the table. There were some parts of the email service that I didn't like in the sense that it was all in the central hub rather than you having a client also. But uh, that being said, uh, the email client itself still was very good. I like the deep integration into the hub where your email was always there and you can easily answer it from your notification, if you will. Also, the, uh, the gesture controls, you can see um, swiping in and out, the peaking and things like that or things I really, really did like with the smartphone. I think it worked well uh, for something with no buttons and the way BlackBerry actually went around making it work. I think it worked very, very well in there. I also like the fact that um, the keyboard, the keyboard itself was very solid. Um, keyboard uh, worked well with typing. I didn't have issues with auto corrections. And even the uh, suggestions, the flick suggestions, which you could use on the keyboard, uh, really worked well. Again, this, it was still a little bit cumbersome, but it's something BlackBerry can fine tune. Battery life on this bad boy is ridiculous. Again, like I said in the video, probably only Windows Phone can compete with the battery life on here. When you can go up to 24 hours, literally, while doing lots of work on this, it's amazing. On an 1860 milliamp battery. So, Android iOS, please, uh, please work in your battery life functionality. Maybe it's because, of course, the, um, the OS only allows eight um, apps to multitask at the same time rather than you having countless of apps, if you will. Um, but it does well. The fill of the device is solid, it feels very nice. You can see how trim it is, and it feels comfortable in your hands. It's something that you would use. Now, in terms of what I, I see, where I see this device, I think this is really the. Um, um, the rise of the of the power user again. Uh, the way this device is set up, and you see, you, you can see in the functionality that really it pretty much plays well to the power user. You can uh, jump into your email, jump out of your email, jump to email. Kind of that's where this device really is geared to in the sense. Like there's a lot of checking your information on the go quickly without actually opening up an application. And I think that's what BlackBerry was trying to achieve here with. Uh, the Z10. Um, that's where this phone really lies in its strength. Of course, weaknesses, of course, are there are no apps, but uh, I'm not really penalizing for that because, of course, it's just a rebranding of OS. It's a fresh OS in the sense. So that eventually will catch up. But I think BlackBerry's done a good job. The Z10 is a comfortable device, a great battery life, uh, good functionality. Handles very very well. Um, I would say you know for the casual user using these gesture controls might be a bit unintuitive and um, harder to pick up. But you know if you really are a BlackBerry fan and you really want that power use, I think this is the device for you. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, uh, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with two O's. So this is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoying your entertainment. So. One more thing I forgot. This is how you power down the BlackBerry. You hold it down. And it's powered down. Have a good one.